Hello there and um, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be playing through or continuing to play through the Deathless WAD uh, starting from E1M6. So without further ado, let's see how we go. So E1M6, um, like previous videos, I have played these with pacifist kind of runs. I've seen some of it. I don't remember a lot of this one. I remember there was a dark awkward area uh, and that's mainly it. I don't think I've explored all of this level, so let's see how we go. Not a secret. <sighs> okay, let's put my weapon. Okay, so in previous maps the ammo the ammo is quite tight. Let's see if that kind of trend continues. I didn't go in here before. That's some armor, that's pretty pretty nice. Always makes me feel a bit safer with armor near the start of a level. Uh, I went this way on my run. There's a secret just behind that computer area map. Yes, kind of need to push, keep pushing forward for ammo in this wad so far. Ah, nice. Right, uh, there's a secret here which I found to help my uh, stroller playthrough. I think I'm gonna change change to the chain gun for a minute. Okay, Soul Sphere. This was kind of essential. So that's one secret out of oh, five. That's quite a lot of secrets. Okay. I think there's like a spectre below me or something. Yeah. That cacao is doing a lot of work for me. Thank you. It's time to go there. Alright, um... No sign of any more secrets. This dark section was quite tricky. Oh, there's a rocket launcher there. Alright, I'll just wait for the cacao to come out. And I can get the rocket launcher. Okay. don't really know what weapon I want for this section. I know the way to progress in this area, but I've not really discovered all of the areas here. That's a different wall. It's really hard to tell in these areas. I think that's a secret. Nice. That'll help with ammo if it does become a problem. Okay, so the actual way is one of those directions there. I'll go I'll go this way. Is that another wall? Oh man, that's exactly what I need. Okay, that's gonna make this section a lot lot easier. I think I might actually get the rocket launcher out. Maybe a bit wasteful. Okay, no secrets there. That wall's different. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, you survived. Wow. I feel like I'm missing a berserk or something to deal with the pinkies. <laughs> and this is where we actually progress. So I know there's a caca around the corner. Also survived. What's with the weak rockets today? 
Okay, so we've only got we've only got a tiny bit of ammo. Uh, done that whole area. Waterfall secret? Nope. Try to make sure the shots hit. I've kind of already got armor. Ah, that's another rocket launcher. So I kind of want that person to die. Let me get a bit more ammo. I'll try and use a few rockets. Uh, you can fight. Nice. Okay. So I've got spare armor if needed. I know the only way to the exit is here. Okay, can punch out this pinky. Oh, rockets. Yeah, it's an absolute pain in pacifist and stroller just to dance around all the imps that are on these ledges. So check out those runs if you like. It's a bit dangerous because I didn't know the spectre was dead. Okay, so we've just got the one enemy left and there's a caco in here. And you also survived two rockets. Yeah, so that map, that was, it was pretty tough when doing that pacifist and really tough when doing it on stroller, but apart from some ammo issues, that was fine. If I didn't find the berserk, that would have been quite painful, but yeah, it's my own fault for doing it pistol start. Seems to be the wad is designed for pistol start, but makes it kind of difficult for ammo. So yeah, anyway, let's play E1M7 next. So let's just pistol start it. We do get a weapon straight away here. So I remember there being a lot of monsters when doing this uh, passively. Passively? Pacifistly? Serves me right. Okay. Okay. I don't know what this room is for. Hello there. Two secrets. Where'd you come from? Don't really need to snipe the imps. Gonna, I'm going to come at them from that direction anyway in a minute. Okay. Oh, I could actually get through up here, can I? Yep. I fell off. Is there another shotgun? I thought I killed two. There was another. Okay, I thought there was another one still awake. Can I make it across there? Nope. Okay, right, so we've done, done that little section. Now we need to get the blue key. I know there's like a whole wave of monsters teleporting. Let me try and get the armor. Okay, 
so blue key is down here it's guarded by a spectre I'll probably kill him here so I don't have to stay in that stay in the toxic loop okay and I know things get a bit crazy when we press the switch need a bit of health. It's another medikit somewhere. Yep. Oh, there's a bit of a waste. I thought I thought I was on less than that. Oh well. Okay, did we get everything? Yes, but I want the ammo. I've only got a few bullets. some bullets that's good got the blue key I'll take this and I'll leave the medikit right I want to go this way first I think so I need to get the red key hopefully have a bit of infighting to help me with the ammo situation Take out the hit scan. I can press this switch, which opens a hatch up to the red key. Yeah, as you, as I've said in the previous videos, no way near a blind run, but it's different playing it pacifist. Just rushing around the level, and here I'm trying to do everything. Here's some hit scan. I think they're around the corner there. Let's go get the key. Still got some stim packs hanging around if we need to. Might as well take these out from here. We can jump down here. That's all the hit scan. Still here. Hit scan behind me here. I think they're inside this building. Ow, why did I do that? That's a secret. Okay, that's one out of two secrets. Let's try and get rid of this pesky spectre. Where have you gone? Okay, uh, down here next. So this teleporter takes us up to the other section. Okay. Secret error, I guess. Uh, I'll need to come back here, I assume, for progress in a minute. Oh. Seeing lots of rockets. I don't actually know where a rocket launcher is. That's the other secret. I would have thought this area would be secret, but no, it's down there. Okay. Let's try and jump to it. Here's the rocket launcher. I didn't even notice it when I was doing my runs. Or I didn't even think about it because I wasn't allowed to use it. Get my secrets. Um, I think I need to come through the other red door. So one more monster left. Where am I going? Here we go. 
Losing my bearings. One monster, I think that's monsters in the exit. Oh, that's all the kills of secrets. Secrets weren't too bad to find there. Let's finish off with the rocket launcher. There we go. So yeah, that was really frantic on Pacifist. Obviously a lot more methodical going through it then. If I'd known the rocket launcher, or if I'd remembered the rocket launch was there, I probably would have gone the left route first. It left it a bit, again, ammo starved, but... I think playing it blind pistol start kind of adds to that. If I know this map by heart, I could probably do a better route for that. But anyway, let's uh, finish the episode with E1M8. So E1M8, uh, oh, pistol start. E1M8, I have seen this. I couldn't complete this pacifist because you either need to find an exploit or get the barons to die somehow, which I don't think will happen. Spoiler alert, there's some barons, so it's a... Classic kind of E1M8. So here we can get... We can get um, a weapon. If I want to save the ammunition. So I do remember there being a lot of barons. Get a chain gun, that's nice. Ow. Can I now do this? Oh well. Uh, may as well have the med kicks. I'm not coming back here. I don't think I can come back here. Okay, so we have this area, Soul Sphere, imps either side, various bits of ammunition. Don't quite need all the bullets yet. I think that's all the rockets. Yeah, so things kind of get a bit crazy now. The Baron's teleport to there. And as soon as I fire a shot, that's a terrible start. Kind of relying on some infighting going on as well here. So that's all the rockets. There's another rocket here. Can't grab it very easily. Try and make this one rocket count at the Barons. Where'd you come from? Ah, he might come out of the exit area. I haven't actually seen the exit area because I couldn't... Cool. Okay, that's everything. Yeah, um, okay. I've got everything all kills or secrets. There aren't any secrets. Okay, so that finishes episode one of Deathless. Um, general thoughts for the episode. Uh, it was, you know, fairly chill for most of it in terms of, like, difficulty. 
logic wise pretty good design wise um it kind of i i guess takes some inspiration from first episode of doom um i wonder if that'll kind of carry on in episodes two uh three and four um tricky maps i guess i think it was six had a bit of ammo starvation going on which kind of made it a bit more difficult especially if i hadn't found the berserk seven worked out a lot easier than i'd imagined eight i could have easily died on that then by you know splash damage but kind of pulled it off in the end once uh once i got a bit more space um yeah so yeah in interesting i've never really played that many i don't know if i've played any kind of ultimate doom mods before so it's a new thing for me to try out you know you kind of miss some of the enemy roster and the super shotty but kind of makes you play a little bit different because it because you know the enemy roster and the weapon roster is different um i'm kind of babbling now so what i'll probably do is do some runs on this uh do some more runs on this episode if I can beat any of my previous times and then move on to episode two. So yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.